and welcome back everyone to the video series Diggy Show on Paramount Plus that feels like a giant human squid. That's right, we're talking about the Challenge World Championships Episode 10. We are finally in the double digits. We are so close to the end, we can almost like see it, but not quite yet as we have to talk about what happened in this week's episode. And it starts off with everybody coming back from the elimination where Darrell and Kiki won against Kellyanne and Tristan, where Darrell tells Troy to make him some victory bacon. I don't think there's any better bacon in the world than victory bacon. And then in the next morning, we see a conversation between Danny, Sarah, and Emily. What Emily does not know is that Sarah and Danny are praying that Emily and Yes can win this next daily challenge because if not, their hands are kind of tied in a contract that they signed on a whiteboard and it could make things a bit messier in the house if things were to go a little bit off course. Then we get a little insight from Cass who's doing a yoga class on the yard and she gives a little bit of her mindset coming into this week where she's still not comfortable of what happened and transpired last week with them throwing in Kellyanne and Tristan, one of Kaz's best friends from her UK challenge experience. It was all Jordan's idea and that's not sitting right with her going into this week where she feels like she needs to have that talk with Jordan that this is a 50-50 partnership. This isn't just Jordan's game with Kaz just hitching a ride to it. But after that, we have everybody donning their challenge gear to meet up with TJ at a body of water for this week's daily challenge called Points Break. In this daily challenge, all the teams will be tandem together and having to swim to six different buoys to grab six puzzle pieces. Then once they get all the puzzle pieces to their puzzle station, they have to put the puzzle together, then answer a question about that puzzle. The main caveat here is not the teams being tied together during the swim. In my opinion, the biggest surprise here is that you only get three checks. And if you can't get it in three checks, you are out. You're done. Now, seeing that this was a swimming daily challenge, I thought... Emily and Yes have this in the bag. Thinking back to Rocket Man earlier this season, in that daily challenge, Emily looked impeccable in the water. But also thinking back to that daily challenge, Emily and Yes did not win. They didn't even get in the top two. You can say that's because they didn't get a ton of air time to get time taken off of their final time, but they did not get in the top two. It came down to Kelly and Tristan, who ultimately won that daily, and Jordan and Kaz. And so coming into this one, I was wondering who was going to keep up with Emily and Yes. I have to say, I'm super impressed with Jordan and Kaz. Not only did they keep up with Yes and Emily, they actually surpassed them in the swim at one point. To the point where I thought Jordan and Kaz were actually going to win this straight up. The big block in which Jordan and Kaz could not win this daily challenge, they grabbed one of Darrell and Kiki's pieces instead of their own. They grabbed a blue piece instead of a purple piece, and when they came back to their station, they saw the mistake and they were like, oh crap, we have to go back and go get the purple piece from the place that we just got that blue piece from. And they tried to get Darrell and Kiki to help them out where Darrell and Kiki were not doing super well in this daily challenge. Kiki had an inhaler on set. It was a big struggle. So getting that extra puzzle piece help from Jordan and Kaz, I was hoping that that was going to keep them competitive in this daily challenge, especially seeing how much they were struggling as a duo during this challenge. And really, everybody was struggling. I mean, if your name wasn't Yes and Emily and Jordan and Kaz, you were in clear second, third, fourth place. I mean, it was a steep drop after those two teams. Now, the extra lap really set Jordan and Kaz back quite a bit as Yes and Emily were able to make up some ground, get all six puzzle pieces, start working on answering the question, which was how many triangles are in the puzzle. And they got two checks. Jordan and Kaz were able to get their puzzle pieces, put the puzzle together, and then start doing it. They got two checks. And then it came down to the final checks for both teams where Yes and Emily wrote down 16 and asked for a check half a second before Jordan and Kaz asked for their check when they wrote down 16. And so Yes and Emily slightly, just barely beats out Jordan and Kaz to get this win. I'm telling you, if Jordan and Kaz did not make that mistake, grabbing the wrong puzzle piece and then having to make that extra lap, no doubt in my mind, Jordan and Kaz wins into power this week and it gets instantly messy for Emily, Sarah, and Danny's gameplay on that side. But 
it ultimately works out for Danny and Sarah because Emily and Yes do win, get into power, get into safety, and then it's a race for not last place, which it just does not work. I mean, this was not Darrell and Kiki's episode. It just seemed like everything was off for Darrell and Kiki. Normally, they're in good chemistry, focused, disciplined, and they're able to work really well with each other. But it's just something about this daily that it just seemed like they were kind of off, even with the help from Jordan and Kaz getting one of their pieces to where they only had to go out for five swims. It just wasn't in the cards for them as they ultimately lose getting last place. And we come back to the challenge house where Danny, Sarah and Emily are ecstatic that their numbers are together and they're not going anywhere. They pretty much all are just locked into the final five and they are kicking up their feet being like, we got nothing to worry about. But what they didn't know is that Tori and Jordan were playing their own game of to see who could nominate themselves to go into elimination the quickest. And the main game within this game is getting their partners to agree to want to send themselves into elimination. We see Jordan talking to Casey, being like, I have said your name once, I told you I would never say it again, so... I'll tell Tori to say my name. I want to go into elimination because I don't want to put my friends in a tough position to have to say my name or say each other's names. So I'm making the executive decision to send myself into elimination. Meanwhile, we go to a different room in the house where we have Tori talking to Theo saying how she feels like she's coasting through this game. Maybe it's my time. You know, all I have to do is get Danny to agree with me, see it from my point of view and say, Yes, Tori, I would love to go into elimination this late in the game and possibly go up against a team that just won an elimination and a strong team. Come to find out, Danny and Kaz both don't want to go into elimination. Who would have seen that coming? You know, Tori goes and talks to Danny. Danny is like, Tori, we are in a good position in this game. Nobody really wants to say either one of our names. We don't have to put ourselves in unnecessary danger to go into elimination all because you don't want to say Casey or Jordan's name again. So I'm going to say no to that. And I'm pretty much going to say no every single time. Tori wants to say that she wants to be proud of every single season she does. So she thinks that going into elimination, she will feel proud of this season because she earned her spot into the final. And Danny is like, no, I think we can say that we earned our spot if we make it into the finals and ultimately win this game. So Danny is a hard no of wanting to send himself into elimination. Now, the idea or the proposal of Tori and Danny possibly going into elimination and volunteering themselves is kind of gossiping around the house. And Kaz is thinking, this is great. Send yourselves into elimination as long as it's not me. This is when Jordan comes in and is like, I have something to tell you. I told Casey that we would go into elimination. And Kaz says, no, I don't want to go into elimination. And Jordan tells Kaz that I want to go into elimination on the basis that I don't want to make Tori have to make a tough decision. He says this like twice. And the more times he says it, the more times it just doesn't make sense. This is the point of the game where it, no matter what, it is going to be a tough decision. Just let the game play out. Now, in this moment, and I think in the confessionals, Jordan talks to Kaz and says, like, I know about volunteering to go into eliminations and getting the butt end of the stick. And then he hearkens back and we get to see the flashback of Jordan flipping all the kill cards to go into the elimination against Bananas in Free Agents, which is not a great example of being like, we should go in and volunteer ourselves because in one season I did that and got sent home that week and Kaz is like yeah I don't want to do that I would rather them say our names and want to say our names because they think we should go into elimination not just automatically volunteering ourselves we kicked butt in the daily we did well this is not working out like this is such a miscommunication misunderstanding nobody is hearing each other they just want to get their own points across and we have multiple walkaways. We have Jordan at the pool walking away from Kaz and the conversation. We have in the confessionals, Kaz walking away from Jordan in the confessionals. This feels like a complete mess, a uh, collapse in communication, communication breakdown. It is not looking good for Kaz 
in Jordan. But that all changed when we get to the voting ceremony. When we get to the table, there's only four teams. Tori then asked Danny again in front of everybody. Just, I'm, I know we talked about it, Danny, but now that we're here, I just want to say, well, like, just check in one more time. Volunteering ourselves. Yes or no? Or did you change your mind on that? I just want to ask... Did you did you change it? I mean, uh, we could still do it if you want to do it, like if you thought about it. And he's like, no, I've already said what I had to say. We had that conversation like two minutes ago. No, I'm not doing that. This is where we see a conversation between Jordan, Kaz, Emily, and Yes on the steps outside where they made a deal that if Yes and Emily do not send Jordan and Kaz into elimination, that Jordan and Kaz will take a knee at the next daily challenge. They will just throw it. If they are in a chance to win if they're in first place they will just sit down right in front of the finish line and let yes and emily or anybody else pass them leaving them vulnerable to a vote or going into elimination the next episode or the episode right before the finals so they make that deal yes and emily say cool we're not going to say your name so when looking at the teams who are left, that leaves Casey and Troy directly in the line of fire because Emily's not going to say Sarah or Danny's name. And now that they made a deal with Jordan and Kaz, that only leaves one team left. Ultimately, we kind of felt like that was going to happen all along. Like, honestly, that was going to happen all along. Like, Emily does not like Troy or Kiki. A lot of people are saying that there is a lot of resentment, a lot of petty feelings there because or jealousy there because Emily did not win the Challenge Australia. And then you have Kiki and Troy, who are the winners, who are still left in this game. So it was plainly obvious that Emily would want to send in Kiki and Troy, possibly against each other. So it makes sure that one of those teams were going home this episode. So back to the voting ceremony real quick. Everybody just kind of burn votes on each other to where everybody agrees that we should just go with a stalemate. Let Yes and Emily decide up there. Let them get to choose out of everybody who is left in this game to send in against Darrell and Kiki, which everybody knows who that is going to be. And everybody just says, yeah, we'll just leave it in a stalemate. What was once looked to be a spicy addition to this game with the stalemate rules where anybody is up for grabs, which should make everybody like kind of shaking in their boots of what the what should the power team do up there? What will they do now turned into a pretty predictable, easy get out of jail free card of not having to say anybody's names. Tori doesn't have to say Jordan and Casey's name, but one of them will be sent into elimination, but it's not at the hands of her. Sarah and Danny know that Yes and Emily won't say their names. And like I said, it's like a get out of jail free card. I mean, you don't have to burn any bridges. You don't have to show where your cards lie. You can just say stalemate and you're safe anyways, and you can still keep your hands clean. The people that do get their hands dirty are Yes and Emily at the end of the day. Let's now get everybody donning their challenge gear to meet up with TJ for this week's elimination at the arena, where we have Darrell and Kiki joining TJ on the arena floor. TJ then turns his attention over to Yes and Emily, where he asks, who would you like to send in against Darrell and Kiki? And they say, Casey and Troy. This week's elimination is called Breakthrough. In this elimination, there's multiple stages where the first stage is going to have players having to swing into a faux brick wall. And then they have to recreate the brick wall to then get a math problem, solve the math problem to open up a lock to unlock another rope where you have to break through a wood wall to then get to another puzzle. The team that can complete this mini obstacle course first wins and stays in this game while the other team is eliminated so late in the game. Now, I will say that I did like this elimination. I thought it was pretty equalizing on both sides that I really didn't know who could win coming into this elimination. I actually thought Darrell and Kiki would do better than Casey and Troy, especially with there being a math problem that I think Darrell and Kiki could work well with each other. They were just in elimination last week. However, their problems in the daily challenge just crept into this elimination game. Despite not breaking down majority of their wall compared to Casey and Troy, who had to then build up more of their wall than Darrell and Kiki, the math problem seemed to be a real big brain buster for Darrell and Kiki. We have Darrell who got the first part of the equation done, but forgot to minus the number on the bottom, which really opened up the door 
for Casey and Troy to not only recreate their wall quicker, get the math problem done. The wood wall was a lot tougher than what everybody thought it was, but they were able to smash through that, put their puzzle together before Darrell and Kiki even got their rope unlocked from the latch with the math problem. It was so heartbreaking to watch Darrell and Kiki throughout this whole episode because they were such a strong force throughout the whole game and doing so well throughout this whole season. But this episode, this whole episode just wasn't their days. Like, it just wasn't their episode. And it's so unfortunate that it happened this late. They brought a lot of chemistry, comedy, and I just love them as a pair. Casey and Troy, for being a team that I don't know how well they knew each other before getting into a team together. I don't know how much they talked, how much they connected before they were just like kind of put together. But this is two eliminations that they have been in that they have absolutely rocked. And they look to be a very, very strong team. Now, the only worry that I have for Casey and Troy is that they're pretty much on the bottom here. They've seen the most eliminations out of everybody who is left in the game. And it's going to be easy for them to be sent in over everybody else who is there. Because Casey said it, you know, Tori and Jordan are going to have each other's back before they have her back. And Danny likes to say that Tori has two number ones, which I think Tori would love to, for Casey and Jordan to believe that they are her number ones, but come on, you can't have two number ones. It's clear that Jordan is her number one and Casey can be a close number two, but there's no way that Casey is number one. I mean, I know that Tori was kind of like burn voting on herself the last few episodes, but let's be real. She didn't think that there was any possibility of her going into elimination, being sent into elimination. So she was burn voting on herself because uh, th there's no way I'm going to be nominated and thrown in, you know. And next week is the last episode right before the finals, which is very, very exciting. Who's going to make it in? It looks like there's going to be a four team race, but there's five teams left. And I think things could get quite a bit interesting, especially seeing what could be the elimination game behind TJ in the previews. And with all the teams who are left, that's going to be a vicious battle in the final elimination. But we can't jump the shark here because that is it for this week's episode. What would you think about this episode? Let me know down in the comment section below. What would you think about the daily? What would you think about the elimination? Are you sad that Darrell and Kiki were eliminated from the game? What do you think about this final five? And also, what do you think about like Jordan and Tori both wanting to volunteer to go into this week's elimination so that they didn't have to say each other's name or put each other in a tough position. What do you think about everything that happened in this week's episode? Let me know down in the comment section below. I want to give a special shout out. Thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash angelcakebids. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who is watching this video up to this point. I'll be back really, really soon with more challenge world championship content, more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace. Big, big.